What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to the next episode in this Titan Push series. So we made it onto the Great Britain leaderboards last episode, let's see if we can push up to Titan 2 and push higher in doing so. So on this first raid I'm attacking from the upper right side and the reason I'm doing that is you'll see the air sweeper on the bottom there is upgrading. Does mean that I have to attack the Inferno's side on which I don't normally like to do but I'll take that chance to not have to deal with any air sweepers. So at this point it's going quite well. I've got that big clump of balloons heading into the middle there. I'm going to freeze that multi inferno in order for them to hopefully take that out. Slowly racking up the percent and hopefully I can get up to 50% to then push my heroes into the town hall. That's always the aim. And on this raid you'll see that I end up running a little bit dry. Not to worry, 49% is good enough because you know with your heroes and that royal cloak you are going to at least get the 1%. So I'm going to let the king get through the wall there and I have a feeling that he's going down towards the wizard tower. He actually starts targeting the wall, that's a good thing. I have my queen in. Now I should have pressed my king's ability here because the queen's going to take that gold storage out and you'll see my king then redirects, goes down the bottom and leaves the queen wide open and she just follows and I get nowhere near the town hall. So a little bit of a learning curve there. I know the heroes do get a health boost when you press their ability, but sometimes you have to press it earlier in order to control their AI. Moving swiftly on, and you will see the next raid is a lovely square base, and look at the amount of buildings on the outside of them walls. That is just perfect, because I know that if my initial attack doesn't get it, my king and queen are going to be able to clean up. So this being a lovely square base and having the air defence quite square around the town hall, it is perfect for Quattro Lava Lunion. So you'll see that I initially froze the single inferno to keep the lava hound alive. Then I went for the multi because I wanted to save my balloons and get them over the town hall. And once you've got that, you're pretty much on to a winner. You'll see I've just got the 50% and the town hall. So I'm just going to let them clean up a little bit more. And then being a farmer, I can't resist. And you can see them storages on the bottom there. I'm going to have to wait for my troops to train up anyway, so I'm going to put my king in, quickly followed by my queen, and just let them soak up a little bit of that loot before I leave. I tell you what though, he is just lucky that I can't get into that dark elixir because that looks delicious. However, I'll take the nine trophies and be on my way. Moving on to the next raid. Normally don't like to attack these style of bases just because they're so spread out for Lava Lunion and they're difficult to control your balloons. But when you get a good trophy offer and you've been searching for a while, you just have to take it. And on this base, there's only really the top left or the bottom right that you can attack from based on the line of the Infernos and the direction of the Air Sweepers. When from the bottom right, you'll see that I should have probably froze the Multi Inferno in there. I obviously missed that, got it second time around, but I've managed to get a massive clump of balloons over into the middle, which is quite hard to do on these bases and they're wiping out the core. I'm actually getting right up on percent and things are looking really good at this point. So looking at this now, I've run out of minions to try and snipe buildings. I've got them ones in the middle there taking out the king, which is very good. So I'm going to put my king in to break open the wall. I'm not going to put the queen in because as you'll see, the king's going to go down to that gold storage. If I put the queen in, she's going to go there as well and more than likely just walk off around the side. So I know it can give her less cover fire, but you have to do what's best for the AI or it's just not going to work, especially on these bases where they're trying to force you around the side. So I want the king to take some buildings out first to make a path for the queen to the town hall. It also means that I'm probably going to be close at the 50 and I know that I'm not going to lose the battle. So you'll see there he's wiped them buildings out and the queen goes straight for the town hall. And obviously with her royal cloak, she's just going to be able to pop that straight down for the two star. So we finished this one with 12 trophies gained and a great raid. So the final raid of the day, and if you've noticed in my previous videos how I decide where to attack from, the first thing you'll notice is that there is an air sweeper upgrading. So I'm going to attack from behind the other one. Spreading the balloons out first, as I always do from either side, and my clan castle balloons in the middle. And then you want your rage spells to cover each of the two sets of balloons you put either side. Then it's just a case of waiting for that freeze spell there, which I'm going to put on the multi-inferno, 
and try and freeze as much as you can. My third rage goes in to try and push them over the town hall in the middle. And then I'm going to freeze the other multi-inferno. Also managed to get an air defense and a Tesla there as well. And then it's just sitting and waiting to see what percentage you can rack up. So I finish on 49%. I'm obviously going to make a push for the town hall. King decides to go right up the top there to that lab. So I put the queen a bit further in. She's targeting the wall there and I've got a feeling that she's going to go ahead and go down to the cannon, go walk about and I'm going to completely miss it, but at least I'll get the 50%. So the king's kind of gone at this point, he's out of the question, he's never coming back, bye bye. Queen amazingly goes to the inferno there, so she's taken that out, she's getting battered by the expo at the same time, I am going to pop her royal cloak. And then she has targeted the town hall. It's still got lots of health. The expo is back on it there now as well. She's struggling. Is she going to get it? It's going to be a close one. Boom! She just gets it. I cannot believe it. And we get a whopping 14 trophies. Fantastic. Man, the king wants to be thanking his queen right now because he gone darn messed up that raid. She really pulled it out the bag. But moving on, you guys will see that we are not actually that much further in trophies than we were last episode. That's because we got two horrible defense losses. We finished this one 7,000th globally. And in the GB leaderboards, we are 162nd. So only moving up slightly. I am going to change this base around and put my town hall in. It's definitely time. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe to keep up to date as we push up and beyond. This has been Judo Sloth, and until next time, peace out. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.